<laughs> I didn't kneel because, well, I didn't have to. I didn't have to. My, 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 my wife didn't ask me to kneel for me to, to propose. I got married many years ago, 2004, so very long time ago. I didn't kneel. But I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you what I think about it. To a large extent, the man is right. You know, it's not our culture. Yes, you know, it's it's foreign for people to kneel, but it's really no big deal. That's the truth. It's not that serious. It's really no big deal. Whether you kneel down to propose or you lie down to propose, it doesn't it doesn't change anything. The woman who is going to leave you will leave you. The woman who doesn't respect you will not respect you. And the one who loves you and will stay with you and respect you will be with you, whether you kneel or you lie or you fly to, to propose. So for me, it's not really... You see, uh, my father, Chief Peter Ducci, of course, big respect to him, great legend. Um, that's his era. You, you have to understand. He's 73 years old. That's his era. Understand? That's his era. So you need to understand that this is, you know, that he lives in... That time when they feel like, okay, the man is, it's all about the man, you know. Things have changed now. We, the younger people, we've understood that, yes, they got it right to some extent. There are also a couple of things that they didn't get so right that we're now trying to improve. Um, in one of my tweets, I think last week or two weeks ago, I said that for me, I believe the man is the head of the home. Okay, but women should not be seen as people to control or subdue. No, it's like a partnership. There's the, the man is just like, okay, the, the, maybe the general manager and then the, the, the woman is like the MD of the marriage institution and then like that down to the children. You have to work with them, work with them. If you have a, a good wife or a good uh, partner, always work with him or her, okay? Relate your... Uh, your ideas, your decisions, your view, pass it by your woman. And if, if she's an intelligent person, you'll be amazed at the kind of uh, uh, um, impute you know, that, that she can bring to the table. Unlike, you know, their era. They lived in a time where, okay, it's all about what the man wants and how the man wants to do his things. You know, women should just be in the kitchen, like uh, our president said, you know. <laughs> women should just, but it's their era. Do you understand? Now things have changed. We've realized that it's not really the best. You can still, the, the way we can do these things. Women now, for me, for me, my views, women are not people that should be, okay, let's, let me, no, no. It's more like a partnership. It's more like a partnership. I've worked in, I've seen organizations that work, um, that don't have women in them. I've seen organizations that have men and women. And trust me, organizations that have women and men, you know, working together, it always comes out better. Because there are things that men don't know. There are things that we're not so detailed to see. Only a woman can see them. There are things that women can see. Only a man can see them. So by the time you put them together, they work together. So I didn't kneel. Final answer. Do you consider yourself a feminist? I hear feminism. I hear feminism all the time. I've not really... I don't know what it means. What is it? Is it like someone who always fights for the women or... No. I believe in equal rights. Okay. I believe in equal rights. My first child is a girl. And then I have three boys. Okay, um, God help me by the time I want to leave this world, I have a, a lot of assets. I'm not going to say, okay, the girl, no, I, can't, I won't give you this. I'll give to the boys. That's crap for me. She's my child. She's going to have as much as the, the boys are going to have. That's how I see it, because she's my child. You know, so if that makes me a feminist, I don't know. If there are other things... It makes me a feminist. Okay, I, I accept that I'm a feminist. We must understand that God made the man and woman to function together. So, 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 so I see people or women who are like, they don't need men in their lives and it's all crap. You need a man. A man needs a woman. You know, God created us. I mean, God created Adam and then he felt like this guy is lonely. He needs a helpmate. And he sent a woman and his life started moving on.